Composers suffer from writer's block too. It has plagued me all my life. After a while, you find ways around or through it, techniques that help you put whatever is preventing the ideas from flowing to one side and make the necessary space for the first step. One that has frequently worked for me over the years is to set myself a limit. In graduate school, I was in an unusually long block. I was supposed to be writing a piano concerto, but every time I sat at the piano, I was overwhelmed by all the choices in front of me. So, I set myself a seemingly impossible goal. Write either a short piece featuring only two notes, or a piece using only one rhythm. It didn't go well. Eventually, like an idiot, I decided to try doing both at the same time, repeating only two notes with one rhythm and see what other ideas spin off. It worked. The piece I'm going to play today is that piece. If it sounds as if it's improvised, good, but actually it's all carefully constructed. I want you to listen for how, close to the end, although the two notes are no longer being played, they are still there, in a sense, controlling how the music is constructed, even in their absence. Some people have even told me that they really do still hear them. It's amazing how something that is not physically present can have such an influence. And that is why I'm playing the piece today, for the invisible forces at work in our lives. Debussy often put the titles of his pieces at the end and not at the beginning, so that the first time you play it, you are left to work out for yourself what you think its narrative is. This piece has had several different titles over the years, but rather than tell you what they were, I'll just play it and let you create your own story, if you choose to. Thank you. 